Okay, so this time around, I will use their ID at this place instead of the div. So I can refresh my page. I still have the same card there. Okay. Okay. Um, so, so the CS also we you gave a comment, right? Yeah, I gave it a comment. Let me see from where we you ended it. The last you, one. You commented all. Oh, I commented all. Okay, so it means that from the beginning. Yeah. Yes, from the beginning to the end. And he copied. What did you perform? I copied the first one. That's the you copied div. A this the div, the oh, first one. Yeah. The first one. Okay, the very first one. Yeah. Right. I want to have the same. After you committed, you can still copy, right? Yeah, you can still copy. Please let me see your code. Eh? Okay. Just a div. No, the CSS one. Okay. I just copied the first one. Okay. So my div, instead of me using the div, I gave it an ID rather. Then I okay. use the ID at this place. Oh, so you call the ID with the hash? Yeah. That's, that's the meaning. Yeah. In the CSS, when we see the hash sign, it's referring to the ID. That's for ID. And the, and the dot, dot is for, is for class. class. Right. So, can we move to the HTML part. Yes. So, but I have an empty page. Yeah, you get an empty page with okay. the card like this. My the card is not even showing. I gave it. No, he added shadow. He gave it a shadow. Let's see that part. I copied the very first diff. Yeah. The very first day in the CSS, yeah. Oh, okay, and repasted, yeah. Yes, it's up and to I guess... where um, the but no, he, he, he brought a space, there was a space before um, the head out, too. So, if you don't take care, you copy up to the margin top. Without the adding the shadow. With, with the very first diff. Okay. Go to your HTML. Let me confirm something if I have. I created a new div and I gave it an ID wrapper. Okay, I've seen it. I've seen my challenge. My 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 Spelling was wrong somewhere. Okay. Okay, I have it now. So let's add another div with a class or an ID. So let's say image wrapper. 
So within this, um, they will try to insert an image. But I thought the say ID primarily normally it should only be one on a page or yeah. The first one is wrapper. The second one is image wrapper. Uh, so, so you can use it the number of times. But you so can't you use one name for different yeah. IDs. Image yeah. image wrapper is different from wrapper. Okay. When I do something like this with capital W, this ID is different from this ID. Okay. I see. So, so what it basically means is that it is not one when it is repeated the same type yeah. of spelling and everything, so you can't get up the same. same. Yeah. Okay. All right. We get you. But can we also use class for these things? We can use class. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue. So I'll move to my image folder. Images folder. Then I have an image for dot jpg. So this is my image. So I'll save it. Refresh my brother. So this is the image. Okay. So we can move to our CSS then style it. So you first call the ID with image wrapper. Then we can give it a width. We want it to occupy the full width to hundred percent. Then margin of zero pixels. So we can move to the image itself. Um, depending on how we want it, we can try to center it. Let me try to give this one. If you want the image to fit the full length, then we don't need to give it a background. But when we want it to fit in the center, we can give it a background then space around the image. So hope you can try both of them. Yeah. yeah. So let's give the image a width of also 100%. You can uh, choose to give it. So if you brought one image and now yeah. you came to call the image wrapper. Yeah, that's the diff. This is that the image is inside. Okay. So you call only the image. Yeah. I first called this the wrapper, then I gave it a width of 100%. Then I okay, came. You let me see the CSS. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm watching now. So with this, you can give it a fixed height to control some of the images. Because some of the images, maybe the height will be very long. So you can use either height or max maximum height. I don't know. You can choose based on what you like. So you can choose a fixed height. For example, it may be 250 pixels. I'll save it. Please, um, a moment with the HTML. HTML. Let me see.
Oye. Ok. We can proceed now. Ok, so let's save it. Then have a look. So, this is it. So if you think the height is very much, you can reduce it. So, I'll reduce my so we can have something like this. Then you have the information under this one. Or you can choose to give this one a background. So background, maybe, let me give it a pink color. Then, I'll take off the width. Mine will be okay, but I don't know of yours. So I'll try to center it. Margin, right, auto, then margin left, auto. Then I'll give it um, spaces around it, so padding, padding of maybe 10 pixels. So this is the second option. Let me see the code again. Let me give it a width. You gave a background, eh? No, there wasn't a background. Uh, well, from the uh, the pink, I gave it a background. Yeah, you gave it a background. Yeah, background pink for the second option. So. Let's see what that ah, okay. Ah, okay, the wrapper. Yeah. I'll wrap. So that's for the second option. Other than that, if I also have a PNG file, I can use it, right? Yeah. So depending, mine, the size of the image is okay. So I didn't give it a width and height. So I don't know. Sometimes you have to control the image. You have to give it a width and a height. Please you get me. Okay. So for the first option and the second one, which one do you think we should use for now? 
come again like for the without the background yeah the one we did the first time and this one let's maintain this one i think the first one was very nice let's use the first one okay, let's see that one again okay so that one i i'll take off if i take it off or still keep it it's the same so i'll take off this one then i'll give it a width of 100 percent i'll try to control the height to 200 pixel so let me take off the background and try to reduce this one a little bit something like this uh, okay So assuming this, uh, let it cover it. So assuming this is the product image. So sometimes they can use Photoshop to give it um, a specific with with a background. Then the image will be at the center. That's okay. what most of them does. So now let's try to give a little bit um, description so i'll create another div then i'll give this one an id so maybe i'll call this one the script description so i'll close this one So this, this will contain the details. So the first one, let's give it a header to tag. So let's take this one will contain the product name. This one will contain the product name. then maybe a header three or a paragraph then this one will contain the description then let's have a button so let's center the button on button then add to cut. So let's save it. Let's so move to the, the second div. They are all in the wrapper div, right? Yeah. Did you intentionally um hello? Hello. Hello. Did you intentionally um leave the product name that way yeah there wasn't, so there's no space within the product and the name that one is up to you so maybe assuming this one to okay. be the product name so maybe um samsung galaxy s3 s4 then okay, okay. the description of the phone or maybe you can even add the sure. price you can even add the price okay. so let's let's make this one a paragraph a p tag and let's make this one a header three so this one will contain the price so and so maybe the price 100 cities we hope you understand uh, yeah okay so let's move to the css so i'll first call the description let's let's go to the moment yes, wait for this moment okay
But then what if you want to use um, um, the dollar? The dollar sign. And not the CD. But I think we have the dollar sign on yes. our keyboard. With this. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. Um, we are left with six minutes. But then, but then we don't. Okay, so we should. So we should. So please, can we move to the CSS? Okay, yeah. For me, I'm cool now. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's first call our um, ID called description. Then we should give it um, a pattern. So a pattern of maybe 20 pixels. Pattern of 20 pixels. Yeah. Hello. Then we should align them in the center. The line was breaking. So we are we are not hearing you. I said we should call our um description tag. Then we will give it a pattern that is space around it of 20. Then we will align them in the center. So save it. This is what we have. So let's okay. So we can even choose to style um, this information a little bit, or we can choose it to leave it like this. Then we will give the button. We will style our button. So let me call the header thread tag. Then give it a color. So we had a tray, and I'll give it a color of maybe blue. Then I'll call my button. So with the button. I can take off um, the borders, the border around it. 0 pixel. Then I'll give it um, a background image. So the background image, um, we can choose Green at the same time. So we can save and have a look. Oh, so we can even increase the height a little bit and then give it a color. So color, white. Let's increase the font size to 20 pixels. Font width, bolder. Then let's give it a height, or a pattern rather, pattern of 10 pixels. So we can have a look. So we can reduce the height of our card for it to fit very well. So I'll move to My, the, the card is shorter than the things. The card is shorter. Um, yeah, like the, the main distance. So, so the words are trying to come out of it. 
outside as in left and right or top and by down no, bottom bottom yeah then you can increase the height so this is my that whole thing that's the card the whole card but mine is longer so i'll try to reduce it so okay you gave it a height i didn't yeah. give mine height yeah so i'll choose maybe 400 Let me see your code for that part again. Eh? The um the card. Yes, I think I I didn't do Is some it? of the things you did. Yeah, Is I'm not it? seeing them. I'll save it. Okay. It's a little bit. So depend on the height you want. Yeah. Okay. Let's quickly see. So one thing I've realized. One it's this is the button. Save it one minute. So let's see your code quickly. Which one? The HTML or the CSS? Um, the HTML or the CSS? The code for the wrapper. That's okay. where I need. CSS, please. CSS. This is it. We have less than one minute. Yeah, this is it. Just like, the first, it. Just like the first one. So it's just like the first part, one. the first part of the, the first one. Yeah, really. I just reduce the height, yeah. then change the color. Okay. 